everyone, and welcome back to CNG TV. We're coming to you from the Heinz Convention Center here in Boston. Over the past three decades, employees' needs and their working styles have changed dramatically. And Keith Persky is an, a, a workplace expert, right? Is that accurate? Workplace yes, yeah, expert. That's, that's okay, very good. There you go. You're really helping clients take all these changes into account. Over your 30 years of experience, you've identified five shifts that companies kind of need to make right now in order to have that competitive advantage. What do you mean by that? Well, I, I think the, the main thing we have to think about is that this is not a space problem or a real estate problem. Okay. It's a business problem. Ah, and so okay. to the, in the case that we can make sure that we're focusing on what is right for business, our implementation of that strategy through location design, through uh, workplace design, through those different things, then we're really meeting the needs of our clients and of the people that, who employ us. So, so you're talking about workspace right now, but also add to that, what about technology and all the changes Clearly, there? technology, um, location strategy. Sure. Um, uh, we, we talk a lot about employee experience. We talk about customer experience in our spaces. Mm -hmm. We talk about engagement and uh, those kinds of things that actually make work work. Um, rather than just the height of a panel or you know who gets an office and who mm -hmm. doesn't, it's really about how do we make people work better. It's about human performance. That's what it's about. You know, speaking of human performance and employee engagement, what about well-being? That is right. a very hot topic in today's world right. about trying to make sure that everybody is is on the same page and kind of thinking about that sort of is there such a thing as work-life balance? Right. I don't know. Right. What are your thoughts on that? Well, it's kind of more like work-life blend, right? Exactly. So, so we, we, we don't have the nine to five. You'll, you'll work, I mean, we all work long hours these days, but we'll take some time off in the afternoon. A, we, surveys show that a lot of people take a lot of time during the day to do personal things, but they work in the evening. So the blending, I think, is real. Mm -hmm. I think that because of technology and because we're a digital society, mm -hmm. we tend to work more than we used to. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and I think that the younger generation is pushing back on that a little bit and saying, you know, I want more life in my life and not just work. Mm. And so I think employers, it's not an employer's responsibility to make their workforce healthy, but to give them options to choose to be healthy. So, so good that's food the difference. Choice. It's really the choice that they're giving employees. Right, right. You're right. So it's food choices, good healthy food choices, use the stairs instead of the elevator, access to natural light. Uh, timing, you know, the hours that you work, lots of things that can help employees balance their own lives. And it's a critical choice that people make these days for where they're going to work. That's a key component of where it they're is. going to work. You also suggest that companies need to ingrain that co-working mentality in their real estate strategy. Can you expand on that? I think, there, yeah, there's two things there. I think part of it is, as a corporate owner or occupier, one of your options should be to have a co-working site that you don't own or operate. You just have a monthly or hourly rental that you can give a card to an employee who can go and work there. And it might be closer to their home or it might be in a place that you want to open a new facility and you're not ready for that yet. So having the co-working option is a critical part of, I think, of any strategy. Mm -hmm. But the other part is, um, in co-working spaces, you have a person who's called a community manager and they help craft experiences for employees. And I think that's a really smart thing. It's almost a, a curation of your experience. And having that inside a corporation, I think, is going to be something we're going to be thinking a lot more about. So are you saying that a lot of folks are not going to have their own cubicle, their own where they put the pictures up and all of that? That's all changing? Um, it might change. It might change. Yeah, we're moving to a lot of non-assigned situations, yeah. but that really works for a certain component of people. There are people who need to have a place to sit down. Mm -hmm. I think an all or nothing scenario is just not feasible. Right. But there is a lot more. Since we are digital, yes. you know, we, we can move our pictures of our family with us yeah. wherever we go, you know. So we can be anywhere yeah. practically, right? And, and breaking <laughs> And breaking that ownership mentality about, you know, I have to have my desk because it's my thing, mm -hmm. I think is it a hard thing, but it's important. It's really about access rather than ownership. Access to the right kinds of spaces. You don't have to own them. You just have to be able to get them when you need them. And I think what you're talking about, too, all of this is kind of relating to the fifth shift that you talk about, which is that agile organization. Right. And how can corporate real estate leaders do more of that? Right. So agile comes out of the software development idea about deliberately coming together to work on something and then breaking apart to do individual work and then coming back together. It's this rapid prototyping, mm -hmm. co-development kind of idea. And we're finding that that works in other groups in the, in the company, like HR or uh, 
you know, marketing, mm -hmm. places like that where this co-development that is deliberate together and then deliberate apart, that model works. And so we have to build workplaces that help foster that. Mm -hmm. And it's really about being mindful about how people move throughout their day. You can't just have a desk and be assigned and do everything there. Mm -mm. So this agility idea is something that we have to have kind of peanut buttered throughout the space. I love it. All right, Keith, a pleasure to have you with us here. I know you're participating in the summit here in Boston. Good to have you in town. Thank you, Liz. It's Thanks good to so meet much. you. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon.